Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a ball that spins on its own. Okay, I have a ball bearing here. Just gonna put it in the glass here and I'm gonna spin it around in a circle. But watch what happens when I spin it. It stays spinning and it doesn't stop. Now I'm gonna spin it around in a circle. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that! That is going so fast now! So I am not spinning this now. I'm not adding energy to this at all and it's still going. So how is this working? This seems impossible. I'm not adding any energy to it seemingly, but it's continuing to spin around in a circle and stay suspended above the surface like this. So how was I actually doing this? Well, I was using a device that's used to power the egg of Columbus. Okay, so watch how cool this is. I just get it spinning a little bit. Look how high above it I can move it. And also, this isn't just a regular ball bearing, it's a magnet. It actually does better higher up here. The name for the Egg of Columbus comes from the apocryphal story of when Christopher Columbus was being criticized for how easy it was to do what he did and discover the Americas. So Christopher Columbus asked the people in the room that were criticizing him if they could balance an egg on its end. Now they couldn't achieve this. When you try to balance an egg on its end, it always falls over. But then Christopher Columbus tapped it on its end and it broke the shell a little bit and it got it to balance straight up. But then Nikola Tesla came along and he wanted to one-up the story about the Christopher Columbus egg. So he made a device that can actually spin a metal egg. The way it's spinning it is it has four electromagnets that are alternating AC current in it. So the poles of the magnet are constantly changing back and forth between north and south. This generates an eddy current which has a magnetic field that opposes it so it spins it around in a circle really fast. Now the interesting thing about a spinning egg is that if you get it spinning fast enough, it won't just stay laying on its side, but it actually lifts itself up, so its center of mass rises. Until it becomes perfectly balanced upright. Look how cool this is now. So why does the egg rise up on its own when it gets spinning fast enough? The reason is due to the friction on the surface in which it's spinning. If you give it more friction, it actually creates a lifting force that pushes it upward. I showed this in my previous video where I have a spinning gyroscope and if you give it more friction by touching some tape that I put on the surface of it and slow down that spinning or add friction to it, it causes it to rise up in the air. So counterintuitively, the more friction you have on the surface, the easier the egg can rise up on its end. But if you don't give it any friction, it can't rise up. For example, here's what happens when I put some oil on the surface and don't give it enough friction to rise up on its end. So even though it's spinning really fast now, it can't rise up on its end. You can hear it kind of trying to, but it can't get a good enough grip to pop up. So there you go, the device for creating the egg of Columbus is really good for creating a secret device that can spin a ball around a cup like that. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And check out theactionlab.com. I have two science boxes that I sell there. It's a vacuum kit and a self-pouring fluid kit. We're almost out of stock of these boxes and we're not going to be ordering anymore. So if you want one, check out theactionlab.com right now. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.